I'm gonna say bye bye to the babies. Bye bye, all right. See y'all next time, all right. We out here. Where the village? Ukuwapi. Naragusu. So when the Chinese come, yeah. they don't know English or Swahili. They don't know English. They want to speak only Chinese. Not even Swahili. <laughs> just a, just a little. A little Swahili. Yeah, they just know mambo, mambo viti. And they do the mining. Yeah, yeah, they doing the mining. And and they don't know Swahili. They, they just know. they just taking the gold. Yeah, just taking the gold. They just taking the gold. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You cannot even imagine how it is. The Chinese don't even say mambo VP, they say ni hao. <laughs> For you to accept it, you have to say, you have to say, um, let me remember it. The Chinese word. You have to, Chinese so word. you need to greet them in Chinese yeah, yes. in your country. If they you, <laughs> yeah. then you say, wo he hao. Oh wow. Wohei hao. Wo he hao. That's okay. Meaning you are fine. Okay, wow. Fine. So wow. Yeah, I'm okay. Fine. I'm fine. Chinese takeover. Yeah. Okay, you hear it. You hear it for yeah. first hand. They take it over. Yeah. They gotta learn Chinese. Wow. I did not know that. This is the village by the way. This is not Dar es Salaam village. Yeah, he's that's crazy. They just coming here, throwing their language on them. Oh, so you know some Chinese? Yeah, he knows some Chinese. Because they live here. Yeah, they live here. Yeah, yeah, they live here. Okay, okay. Usually, there's a lot more people out. It was just raining, so I think everyone was seeking refuge indoors. But it's going to be lively again in a second. For me, here is very nice. It's just the food. The food, food makes me sick. Yeah. I would like it, just the food makes me like... Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, the fucked up, bust my toe up. <laughs> Oh, just in case y'all ain't heard, Traveling Tony is selling bundles. This is that real yakky, you know what I mean? Selling these bundles for the low ski out here in Africa. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta wait on the delivery. They get there when they get there. But just go ahead and, uh, you know, hit the link, tell me your order, and I got you. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Darling. There we go. Yeah, take it out. Yeah, right here. <laughs> this technique some people use as like a wallet. They put their money inside and it's safe and secure and no one would expect to lose to look in there if you dropped it. So that's just uh insider yeah, tip for people who want to wear congas and stuff like that you could put your wallet in there if you don't want to carry a purse or a little handbag or whatever this is the marketplace as you can see you see what collars everywhere because m pesa tigo pesa um, all forms of digital currency are accepted in these villages as well as main cities um People who are not familiar with how it works or don't know Swahili may have trouble using these systems, but there is a way to change it to English. Uh, I learned that over the past couple years of me being here. So M-Pesa does work here and it is widely utilized by the locals. Everyone uses Tigo Pesa, M-Pesa, Halo Pesa or Airtel money. They also use cash. Cash is king, but secondary would be the digital currencies. And I'm telling you this as a fact for a person who's been here for a very long time. Other people that come for a short amount of times don't really comprehend how it works. So they may get confused. And the same could be said with other countries. When you're there for a short amount of time, you're not going to understand it. And especially if you're not 
delving into the culture with the locals to gain an understanding. Now, for the food in the marketplace, it's going to be local chicken, local beef. You're not going to be able to really find cuts of uh, New York strips or uh, ribeye. Yes, those parts of meat are on the cow, but they don't really distinguish between those parts of meat. They're not really trying to make it look gourmet. They're just removing the meat so you can eat. People are more simplistic in ways of life, and that's probably why they're so happy in these areas. They're not looking for perfection. They're just trying to live comfortably and in peace with everyone. You see the guy just stopped. Uh, to talk to her brother he's well known the family's well known in the village they have an amazing reputation so people just want to come by say hello see the mazungu miosi or whatever black mazungu but it is what it is i was cool everybody was happy to see me um i had a couple people you know standing in the back of my videos great experience definitely recommend trying a village it doesn't have to be this village there's so many villages go to a village see how legit and genuine the people are for yourselves and you'll understand more about what i'm talking about but also be aware that your stomach may not agree with the water or the uh the bacteria in the water to be particular thank you All right, now we are hiking to the mountains. We just passed the school. All the babies are having fun. Time to go to the mountains. It's a hard ass walk, long walk. Oh, oh, really? I'm gonna go show you guys something very, very exclusive. Very few of us in the West have seen. Right behind me is an outside toilet, like a real village outside toilet. Not the one that I showed you in my other video with the walls and stuff like that. No, no, no. Check this out. We're gonna take a further look into this. I see why my brother said, if you drop your phone, you're done. This is a fucking cavern. Yo, that shit is deep. That is crazy. But this will happen to so I wasn't this way. People fell down here before? Yeah, the baby. How did they get them? I don't know. The, the babies were playing. They can't this, get you if you this, fall down here. Yeah, this hole had water. Oh, it had water. Yeah. But so, now it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But it's still dangerous. That, they that's need a, to fix this. Yeah, they need to fix that. We don't even know how deep this is. Oh yeah, that shit is crazy deep. Let's zoom in, guys. Let's zoom in. One baby died. One baby died going down this cavern. That is a wild cavern. Wow. And oh, it's another thing too. Yeah. Those ladies who got gave birth to the hospital, uh -huh. when they don't want the baby, they're gonna fall in. Oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so p they toss babies down here when they don't want them. That's crazy. That is crazy. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. Toilet. Old toilet. Old toilet. Old toilet. Wow, that's a crazy cavern. It's really chill out here. Definitely enjoying my time. Oh, this is another outside toilet. Oh, wow, yeah. It's crazy. It's real. It's real out here. It's real in the field. But people live everywhere, though. People live everywhere. 
So I'm giving you a quick look at what a house would cost for six dollars a month. These houses are about six USD per month.